What is your go-to karaoke jam? The Backstreet Boys, like You Are My Fire song. And I thought it was like safe. Everyone knows the words, everyone will sing along, but there's some high parts. So it's definitely hey. not my go-to song. It was a horrible choice, horrible choice. So if you had to fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses, what would it be? I think a hundred duck-sized horses. <laughs> a giant duck would freak me out a lot. <laughs> What's the dumbest way you've hurt yourself? Um, I was packing a suitcase in college, getting all my stuff out of my dorm room, and it, it wouldn't close, so I jumped from my bed onto my suitcase and broke my toe. Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> epic. You were like, you know, you're Taylor Swift, and you got your bad blood girl game, or whatever. Who are you going to choose for your SM sports game? Marissa from the Arizona Coyotes, um, new last name, Marissa Mast. She just got married. Um, she, she's definitely um, one of the girl gang. I think she's doing really great stuff in a market that's totally different from Pittsburgh. So I'm always looking and trying to understand what they're doing. Rachel Schwartz does a really great job in, in New York. Um, really awesome. I love seeing her at league events and kind of just chatting about how things are different in our organizations. Tina Jane has been um, in the NHL for a really long time and I've always been really impressed um, with her work both at the league and then at the Devils. Whole big squad and then a, a ton of people here I think at the Penguins are doing a really awesome job in partnership marketing and communication and tickets and, and, and I think we kind of have our own sub squad at the Penguins. There was a really successful uh, campaign with Renovate the Rink that happened recently. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We've just been so excited about this campaign. Pitcom is one of our partners and Penguins Foundation kind of came together and made this awesome package, um, $100,000 in rink renovations. I think we we're really inspired from Craft Hockeyville and we said, let's do this. Let's do this locally and let's make it something that for sure is in Pittsburgh and people can get behind. And I think, you know, we knew from Craft Hockeyville with two Western PA rinks winning, our fans were really all about this. And um, we just needed to figure out the right way to do it. So we used Tradable Bits um, to set up the campaign. One of our main goals at the company is just growing the game. And um, I think this was an awesome way to connect the community with the partner and the Penguins and really give back. Campaign was awesome. I So I've heard it is the most entered campaign um, for any sports campaign on Tradable Bits. That's true. So, so congrats. You guys hold the crown right now. <laughs> we, have, we have the crown. I hope yeah. we keep it. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to outdo ourselves with the next one. If you were to give some sort of advice to students uh, who are looking to pursue a career in sports, what might that be? For sure, show your personality. In social media, like you have to have a, a personality. You have to be personable, you have to be funny, you have to be something. You have to have some kind of substance where you can create something that's worth, a story that's worth telling. Coming with questions, um, to an interview. I, I hate when you, I'm doing an interview and I'm like, do you have any questions? And they're like, no. It's like, that, what? I'm, bad. I'm here and I'm trying to help you and you're trying to get a job or an internship. Like this is like, even if you don't want this internship or this job, like help, let me help you for your future one. You know, it's so easy to tell when somebody doesn't know something is technical mm -hmm. and it's so much better to just be honest about it. You know, we don't expect when you come in and are starting, a, you know, an entry level and in an internship that you know everything. And, you know, social is all about real and being a real person and, and connecting with people. Um, which brings me to the next, my next thing that I think is really important is building a relationship. It's not just reaching out to somebody. It's, it's having a conversation. It's following up on that conversation. Um, uh, doing your research on the brand, you know, our brand is very specific and it's very different from other NHL brands. So uh, if somebody comes in, they're interviewing for the Penguins and we say, what do you think the Penguins do best? If somebody doesn't know that, like they didn't do their research. And then the last one, and I think this is um, maybe the most important, is that you have to be reliable every single step of the process as I've met you. So um, if I, email you and you don't get back to me for a really long time and you're wanting to meet or do an interview or a shadow or anything like that, then I'm like, hmm, does this person really want to do this? 
great advice here, guys. Recently, we had um, something pretty awesome happen in our department. We had a, um, a fan hold up a sign that said that she needed a, a new kidney, right? And we were like, let's put this out. Let's see if we can get this girl a kidney. Um, another fan actually from Delaware, not even from Pittsburgh, uh, well, from originally from Pittsburgh, but now living in Delaware, uh, reached out and said to her, hey, I want to donate my kidney. Like, I want to be there for you. Like, this is, you're my people. You love the penguins. I love the penguins. Like, let's do this. That's unbelievable. Um, and yeah, and so now they're both doing really well. He, he donated her, his kidney. I've now met both of them and they're um, really incredible people. And I think meeting with the fans and being able to help facilitate that, that penguins community has been um, truly one of the best parts about my job. That's absolutely amazing.